everyone, I'm Dawn. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for visiting with me today. So I, the other day, y'all should have seen it by now, I hauled a video where I got some of the new um, Stitch, the Wet n Wild Stitch collab stuff. And I went back and I got the setting spray and the scrub right here. And this scrub smells so good. I wish you can smell it. It smells like the beach. Like, not like, you know, dirty like the beach, but like coconutty and it smells really nice. But, so, I pretty much got everything from that collection now, except for the brushes and the, the sponge, the blended sponge. And then I also got something else I saw. And um, I know I've been buying a lot of makeup. I'm looking at all this makeup right around here that I need to, to try because I like to get makeup to try it out and none of this was singly none of this stuff was very expensive so profusion it looks like that they're trying to, to step up their game a little bit so I got a few things from them from their Jurassic World line that I guess it just dropped or whatever so I got this liquid lipstick and lip liner duo in that beautiful red shade, which I love. And then I also got, this is really big, but it's an, it's a blender. Looks like it says egg blender, egg blender, sponge set, and blend in case. So it's a pretty big sponge. Look at it compared. And then the little egg to hold it. Let's open it, shall we? something sharp. And look at this more closely. So, oh, it's nice and supple. I love that, but it's a pretty big egg, so you know that's gonna blow up some more once it's wet. And then it's got this egg. Oh, there's another one. There's one in here too, so you got a blender here fits in the egg and I guess this won't fit in there. I don't think this will fit in there. Well, definitely not with the other one in there. Yeah, that won't fit, but it would be good to like, if I just wanted to set it on there while working on makeup, that would work, but that's cool. Debbie, I usually don't bring beauty blenders with me when we are traveling because um, I don't like to just throw them in my bag. And I don't like them putting, I don't like putting them in with, I don't like, it sounds like my upstairs neighbor's uh, washing machine is, is rumbling, but I don't like to put beauty blenders in the little bag I put my brushes in because even if I squeeze it out really good after using it, it's still a little damp, so I like to keep it separate. But, so this is good for that. And um, that's a nice, it's so, I didn't really feel the other one, hold on. Oh look, it's got the little thing on it. Does this? The big one doesn't, but that one does. And then we've got the little dinosaur silhouette there and there. But this is so soft. And you know what, I felt that one and I didn't say if it was soft. Yeah, this is nice and supple too. Cause you know, sometimes you get them and they're kind of firm and those turn me off. And I like this, it's nice and soft. And I do like the size of it too for like full face. Okay, and then I'll show you that. Then we got the Out in Full Force liquid, br liquid blush right here. I don't believe I've ever used liquid blush. I've used cream blushes, but not liquid blush. Let's look at this. Oh, it's red. But there it is. It's a little on my hand. And oh, but it blends out good. It's very red. Let me show you. Probably wouldn't take much. I know I used to 
not use blush, but I, I have been using blush a little more lately. I almost hate throwing the package in a way, but what else am I going to do with it? And then I got three of these, the Duo Chrome Eyeshadows. I got three of them in this says Mosasaurus. Let's give this a look up close. Oh, it's very pretty. Ooh, ooh, so pretty. Look at that. Oh. That's going to be fun to play with. Let's look at the other ones now. And this color is called Baryonyx. Ooh, it's gorgeous. <gasps> Ooh, that's fun. Now let's look at this one. And look at the cap. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. Okay. And this one is Velociraptor. It's like gold. Ooh. Ooh, these are fun. Those are going to be fun to play with. definitely see the Jurassic Park inspiration. I saw Def Leppard makeup at Ulta. I didn't buy any of it, but I saw it. It didn't really look like shades or anything that I would use. Then I also got this Jurassic Park Land, Sea, Air Water Activated Liner Palette. So these are liners right here, and they're water activated which I love, but I want to take this off because I want you to see the little dino prints in there. So I like it. Well, I mean, I don't know. I haven't used it yet, but I like the colors, but I'm going to need to get more little brushes because I need a different brush for each color. That's just me. In case I want to use several colors at one time. And let me tell you something, these liquid, these uh, water activator, activated liners are really great for special effects looks. So that is really pretty stuff. I'm gonna have to do a look with those. It's quite a mess, we've created quite a mess here. I'm gonna consolidate this garbage. But yeah, this stuff is going to be fun to play with. But anyway, that's it. I just wanted to show you my new goodies I got. And I also, I think I showed you this in the other video. I got a Trapper Keeper. They have Trapper Keepers at Walmart. They're not exactly like what they used to be in the 80s. They're not as high quality. And it's Velcro instead of a snap. Remember, if you grew up in the 80s, we had a snap. And they have the classic folders but you only get two instead of three, the inside pocket. And I seem to remember we always got like a notebook or something with it. We got three folders and a notebook. But anyway, I was just excited. <laughs> they had other designs, but I felt this most spoke to the 80s theme. And you know, I've been noticing at the stores a, a ton of 80s stuff, but nothing that really means anything to me until I saw the Trapper Keepers. I was like, yes, that that to me says the 80s that I, I remember, the one, part of the 80s that I loved. But also, and I know I've talked about these before, in the early to mid 80s, more like the early 80s, they had these shorts that, I see pants like them now, but these were shorts specifically that you would, um, they were wrap shorts, you would take them and tie the front around your back and then you would pull, no, 
no, no, no. Yeah. And then you would pull it up behind you and then tie the back around your front. And it, they were so cute. And I want shorts like that again. They were so, so cute. And I would love to see some more of those. I could probably make them. We'll see. But anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for, uh, for uh, watching. And I will talk to everyone later. Bye.